Let's talk about Dyson Corral. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. I'm Mike. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, we're going to be using and reviewing the brand new Dyson Corral. So if you want to find out more about this and my honest review about this product and what I think and what am I going to do with it on my hair, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we're going to be reviewing as well, we're going to be using the brand new Dyson Corral. And for those who don't know, Dyson Corral is the brand new heated styling tool. It's in addition to the family, so we've seen a hair dryer, we've seen an air wrap and now we have a heat straightener. Now when I first seen the product I was a bit disappointed that it's just a regular straightener. Like I thought Dyson is going to use more of their vacuum technology in it and do something different. but. We got a hair straightener. So you guys, let me present you with Dyson Corral Hair Straightener. Now my first impression of this product, it is rather heavy and it's actually really, really heavy. And I did actually look that up and it weighs over half a kilo, which is a lot for a straightening tool. Now the brilliant thing about it is, it is cordless. With the Dyson, we do get lovely charging station that will charge up in 70 minutes and you can use your Dyson for 30 minutes without the cord. Now, is 30 minutes enough? 30 minutes is actually not a lot of time when we're thinking about it because some people have really, really thick hair and if you're doing it yourself, 30 minutes is not actually that much time, especially if you're creating waves. But the only good thing about it is, is that you don't need the cable. Now, you have the cord and you can plug it in here and you can use it with the cord so it is fine but I've charged that up so we're gonna use it cordless now the price point of this is 491 euro and 87 cents so I mean you guys if you have that amount of money and you want to spend it on a heavy hair straightener then work away I think it's a lot of money I think it's unnecessary money to spend and yeah so let's talk about the technology before we actually put it into use so the way you do it is you click that up and you open and your straightener opens. It also has a flight mode on it. Now, I did not know that you couldn't bring hair straighteners on the plane. But when it comes to this hair straightener, it's because it is so heavy, I'd be nearly afraid they're going to take it off me just because they think it's a weapon. And I tell you, if you dropped it, it'd break the floor. So we have a screen over here. So when we turn that on, and obviously if we press those buttons, we can change the temperature. So the temperature varies from 165 to 210 degrees Celsius. So we have the perfect temperature for all different hair types when it comes to thick hair or fine hair. It has 10 minutes safety mode. So after 10 minutes, it shuts itself off. And the magical technology behind it is is the floating plates so whichever way they designed it like see if i'm pressing this the plates are moving so they're nearly bending so what it does it helps to hold the hair so with any other hair straightening when you grab that down the hair might be sliding now it's not the first time i've seen this technology and it's probably not the last but do i think it's worth 500 euro also dyson claims that there is less than 50% of damage to the hair. Now, why do they claim that? I don't know, they're just claiming it, but they're not really backing anything up when I looked at their website. But yeah, 50% less damage than regular hair straightener. They're not really making that too clear for me. Also, the plates are controlled with the heat 100 times a second. So what it actually means is that if you put cold hair on the plates, you're not gonna lose the temperature. Also, the Dyson has universal voltage, so it can be used all around the world and you don't have to worry about it breaking. Right, you guys. Now, in the Dyson gift set, we also get a lovely thermomat, which I think is actually really nice. So you can pop your Dyson in here and just wrap it up. It's actually quite pretty. Also, we get a brush. Now, when I'm looking at this brush, is it's nice. But the only good part about this brush is the handle. The handle is quite sturdy. The rest of the brush looks very cheap to me and... Like, I've definitely seen better paddle brushes. So, I mean, it's not really doing much to me. And another thing we get is a comb. So this is a comb by Dyson. We have the classic Dyson hair dryer kind of designed through it here. The comb is meant to be like brushing your fingers through it. Now, to me, it's just a white tooth comb. It's nothing special. And like that, the comb does feel really, really cheap. All that for 500 euro. 
don't know you guys. Right you guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put actually a bit of product in my hair. I'm going to brush the product through and we're going to try to create some waves with the Dyson in my hair. I did play around with it, not on my hair, on someone else's hair and I did find that the Dyson was actually really really heavy if you were holding it for too long because I mean it's a lot heavier than regular hair straightener. So let's open that up, put that on, right so it is on and then I'm gonna set the temperature to 185 and you can see that it is heating up up here so it should heat up in no time. While that's heating up I'm gonna just section off my hair. Right, so it is heated up, so let's give that a go and see if this product is worth 500 euro. Right, so what I'm gonna do is just a classic way of waving my hair. Perfect, it created a bounce. Now, do I find this any different to any other hair straightener? Not really, like it's doing the job. We'll look when the hair is done and see if there's more shine or how does the hair feel. But no, it's sliding like any other heater tool in my hair. Now I do find the cordless thing is quite good for people on the go. Like let's say if it has a airplane mode, you could do your hair in the bathroom on the plane or you know, there's, there's many handy things for it. I definitely don't find that it goes through hair any softer or different to any other straightener that I've ever used, but... Right, so my hair is curled and I'm just gonna turn that off. It is turned off, I'm going to put it back onto the docking station so we can charge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this comb and I'm just going to brush my hair. Now the comb slides through the hair really nicely but like I said it's just a white tooth comb and it does come in that gift. Now it is nice, my, my hair doesn't feel any shinier. Like when I'm looking at this, like the packaging is absolutely lovely, the design is stunning, they've done a brilliant job and you can't fault Dyson that. Now is it worth nearly 500 euro? I do not think so, there is nothing really special about it, it's just a hair straightener that's cordless and it's actually really really heavy and the weight of it would actually put me down of buying it. Like I don't think it's great because it does actually feel quite heavy and when you think of it like half a kilo is a lot and if you have a lot of hair and you're going to be holding it for half an hour half a kilo is a lot. I think the design is beautiful, it is stunning but however I do not think it's worth 500 euro and the technology behind it is just, I mean we have the fancy plates but just that for 500 euro. Now if they marked it for let's say under 300, I would be like, yeah, it's brilliant, get it. But I definitely think there's better products out there on the market that are cheaper. Anyways guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my other social media. And of course you guys, please, please, please take care. Bye.